Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to the next video in my Oscar nominations 2015 series. Now, I can skip a bunch of categories. I was about to, you know, do a video on one of the other categories, and I realized the movies that were nominated, the ones I did see, I wouldn't have enough to talk about that category. That's so, no, I skipped all the way down to makeup and hairstyling. Nominated for this category are Foxcatcher, Bill Corso, and Dennis Lydiard did the makeup and hairstyling. The Grand Budapest Hotel, Francis Hannon and Mark Collier did the makeup and hairstyling. Guardians of the Galaxy, Elizabeth Yiani Giorgio and David White did the makeup and hairstyling, and of course, correct me if I pronounced any names incorrectly, which I, <laughs> let's face it, I probably did horribly. But, anyways, I have not seen Foxcatcher. But I have seen the Grand Budapest Hotel and Guardians of the Galaxy. The Grand Budapest Hotel, I'm really sorry, I forgot to put it on my honorable mentions list because damn, that movie was good. And Guardians of the Galaxy earned its place on my top five movies of 2014. And besides the great script of the Grand Budapest Hotel, everything just really fucking looked good good. Like, everyone, like, it was a very beautiful film. Weird, yes, but, you know, the, it was very well done. <laughs> However, I think Guardians of the Galaxy should win for this category since uh, it is a sci-fi film, which means you know, there's going to be a lot of, you know, makeup and hairstyling to make things look alien. Uh, the, the lady who did, you know, Gamora played her, she, that was actually, I believe, you know, green paint. So that whole body had to be painted green so that, you know, she looked like she was an alien, not like she was someone just covered in green paint. <laughs> and, you know, all of the aliens in that film of Drax. Now, we're not counting Groot and Rocket because those were CGI characters. Good looking characters, but you know, CGI. There was I should have really looked up some names before I did this because I'm like, I know everything. <laughs> uh, but uh, the character that Lee Pace played, you know, he, yeah, that was, that was, must have been intense for <laughs> every day of filming. Just like the whole, the whole scheme of this character just looked, I am a badass. I will fucking kick your ass. So yeah, I definitely think hands down uh, Guardians of the Galaxy should win. I mean, if there was another sci-fi movie, then it would have competition. I mean, Fox Catcher, as I said, I haven't seen, but it's not sci-fi. It's, I think, based on true story. And the image of, you know, Mark Ruffalo in the movie keeps on flashing into my head as I try to think. <laughs> but, you know, it's not as intense as what Guardians of the Galaxy needed. I mean, while I wouldn't mind, you know, Grand Budapest Hotel winning another award, I just don't think it should be for this category. <laughs> and... I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you go to my blog, you can see previous uh, vlogs in this series. 
not remember I'm not doing every single category <laughs> because let's face it if you did just want to see know what was dominant you can look it up online but this series is supposed to be me stating my opinions about different nominations so I'm of course not going to be knowledgeable about certain categories and I'm not going to have seen every single movie it's not not going to happen I'm not actually paid for this <laughs> yeah and if you go on my blog you can also see where else I am on the web and say hi and there's also a link to my writing shop now if you have read anything by me and you're like I would like some of that shit you can get some of that shit and there's also a link to I'm looking for dragon uh, artists who draw dragons and there's a link on the sidebar thing you talking about what exactly I want and you know how to submit and you know payment options of more benefits like I'm sort of fucking poor so um yeah once I get more money you know I can actually start paying people for shit starting with my co-host and speaking of you know bloggering me money below the majority of each post is a link to buy something from Amazon that relates to the post at hand and I get a little money from that so you know just you know you get to buy something great you know and you get to benefit one of your favorite bloggers hopefully I'm one of your favorite bloggers <laughs> And yeah, um, if you're watching this on the YouTubes, there's a link in my description to my to donate your account. And if you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign, thank you very much. And until next video, goodbye.